overall energy, five of pentacles, separation, breakup, left out in the cold with the ten of cups in reverse here. You could have been ending a long-term commitment or you're just not feeling the connection, okay? This could have been a situation, this could have been a connection that made you happy a lot once, but now you're just not feeling it. Something's not working out. We'll see. All right, what do we have for my Leos in love, please? Have for my five of pentacles a very codependent energy <clears throat> you could have shut someone out um someone could have shut you out you're giving someone the cold shoulder this is a lack of communication i don't think you guys are talking but yeah there's a lot of uh, emotional unfulfillment between you guys okay but there is a family situation or a long-term relationship marriage that is draining you out emotionally okay Okay, the past year with a page of pentacles here, I see that there was someone who came in and apologized or this was, this could have been something new, okay? I'm seeing it more as an apology. I don't think this is a new person. And in the, in the current situation with the Knight of Wands in reverse here, um, I'm getting that there's someone here who can, um, I'm not getting a player energy. There is a lack of forward movement here, okay? Because someone's just not putting in their entire, their 100%, okay? This could be someone, yes, who can make things happen, but they're choosing not to. Someone could be keeping their options open. But in the past with the page of pentacles here, I think this is an apology. What is your biggest challenge influence here is the page of cups in reverse. Again, lack of communication. Someone's seeing things very, very realistically. The page of cups in reverse, yes, you could be dealing with someone emotionally very, very immature. But again, at the same time, lack of communication. But also, there is a lot of resentment out here. Someone's very angry, very pissed off. This is resentment. This is coming from a point of spite. What's on your mind, Leo? The justice in reverse. Yeah. See? Leo, this could very well be you. I am going to read it out as you take it how it resonates. But yeah, you feel something was not fair. Something was not just. Things were not balanced between you guys, okay? And um, again, like I'm saying, right? You could have been very, very lovey-dovey with this person. Probably uh, you were always the one initiating the communication. But now I think this time you've taken a step back. That's where there's no communication. And you're being very unapologetic about it, you. What is the reason for the reading? The lovers here, okay? So someone wants this connection, okay? Someone wants this connection. This is There is a lot of love here. They love you and they want you. But I'm getting two scenarios. One, either this person was a reunion with you. They see you as their soulmate to inflame. Or this person could be having a choice. This person could be having to choose between two people. In the near future with three of wands in reverse here, I feel that you're giving up on waiting. You're not going to wait no more. I think you could be waiting for this person to come in and correct the things, rectify the situation, making a bad situation good. Because after the separation, I think you're waiting for this person to come in, okay? You're waiting for this person to come in. But this person, as for right now, with the knight of wands in reverse and the page of cups in reverse being your biggest challenge out here, there is this lack of communication, okay? There's this lack of apology. This person's not opening up emotionally. This person could be someone who's suppressing their emotions, trying to see things from a more realistic point of view, or someone who's just very resentful. I'm getting this is someone who's not opening up. And that is one of your biggest challenges, not being open to this relationship, not being open to your emotions, okay? Emotionally unavailable. Again, Page of Cups in Reverse is also someone, you know, anyways, when they're in the upright, it's very, very, very difficult for them to open up emotionally, okay? So now that they're in the reverse, they're completely shut down. And because of that, right, with the Knight of Wands in Reverse here, I feel that you could be thinking that this person comes very in and out of your life, in and out of your life. Again, I'm not getting player energy, but I think because this person doesn't open up emotionally, this person could be very in and out of it, in and out of it, giving you mixed signals, okay, which is, again, confusing you. And that's why you think that things are just not fair with the Justice in Reverse here. And you're giving up on this person because you could be probably waiting for this person to make a choice or waiting for this person to come towards you. The Hermit in Reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups in Reverse. Okay. What I'm getting here is that with the Hermit in Reverse and the Queen of Cups in Reverse, you're extremely, extremely shut down. Okay, you're emotionally detaching yourself and with the hermit in reverse here, I thought there has been something that you've been very enlightened to or 
what I'm getting more so is that you're trying to keep yourself very, very distracted. Okay, you're trying to, uh, I think you're getting more into isolation. You're completely isolating yourself here, okay? Again, I'm getting that there could be some information that, you know, you went, you, you know, you could have been uh, isolated from this person. You just stopped talking to this person and then there was some enlightenment that you got. And because of that, you're very, very shut down from this person. More so, I'm getting what is that you're emotionally unavailable. You're shut down. You're detaching from the self. Or you're just suppressing your emotions and not wanting to show this person your real true feelings. With a helmet in reverse here. I'm getting that you're trying to distract yourself. Again, you're keeping yourself away from this person. You're trying to do everything where you don't have to think about this person. Okay, we'll clarify. Uh, in your environment, this person is very busy. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. Either this person is wanting to come in and put in the effort in this relationship or they're just being very busy in their work. And again, they're too distracting themselves. However, with, with the magician here, they're manifesting you. I think someone's manifesting you. Or you're manifesting this relationship but something powerful is coming in there's going to be a huge powerful change within your relationship within this dynamic let's see what is the five of try for the five of pentacles try for the five of pentacles Someone's feeling very left out, you know, like there's a five of pentacles here. Do I have a five of pentacles? Yep, you're very, very focused on yourself, okay? You're leaving someone out in the cold and you're very focused on your work, Leo. You don't care about this person. So again, I think I'm reading for the cross watcher. I think you're the eight of pentacles. You're the one who's putting in a lot of work. You're focused on your stability, your growth, your security, okay? You're working on your pentacles, your money, your career, taking care of your family, whatever have you, okay? But you're very focused on yourself. And this, in turn, is making the other person feel left out in the cold. We're focusing on you, Cleo. Back to the knight of wands in reverse. Back to the knight of wands in reverse. Knight of Cups. Okay. Again, I'm getting someone who's very in and out, in and out of your life. Okay. Knight of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Cups here. So again, this person has one foot on the brakes and one foot on an accelerator. Okay. They want to come in. They want to rush in. They want to talk to you. They want to express how they feel. They want to come in and apologize. Okay. But on the other hand, they're holding back. They're holding back. Why is the Page of Cups in reverse as the influence of the challenge? What is the Page of Cups in reverse? They're coming in to apologize, but they're just in two minds. Eight of Cups and with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you could have released this person, okay? And that's why you're shutting this person out of your life and you're releasing this person. You're detaching from this person because you see this relationship for what it is. You see this in a more realistic view, okay? Rather than being a more like a fairy tale that it was before, no more fantasy land for you, okay? No more fantasy world for you. It's like, I see this for what it is. This person is going to continue being in and out of my life or this person is just not opening up to me, okay? So I'd rather walk away than stay in this state and always feel that, you know, like, uh, things are just not being fair with me you're letting this person off okay what is the justice in reverse king of wands you could you could be dealing with someone who was just not ready to take action towards you okay but now i think you are going to do justice to yourself by taking action and doing what you want okay by pursuing what you want doing what you like okay the king of wands is very secure very confident okay they just get up and go and get what they want, okay? What is this King of Wands? Ten of Cups in reverse, because you're ending a relationship which is not making you happy at all. Again, you could be leaving a relationship uh, because it's just not fair. Something doesn't feel balanced within the relationship. At the same time, the justice in reverse can also be a divorce. So there could be a divorce on your mind also, okay? I think you're wanting this divorce. If this is a marriage, I think you're, you're wanting a divorce and you're wanting to let go of this relationship and go and pursue what makes you happy. Or a relate, or a long-term commitment. But with the justice here, I'm getting more of a divorce. Okay. Uh, what is this Knight of Cups? I still want to see what is this Knight of Cups. It looks like an apology to me. What is the Knight of Cups? One, 
they're coming in okay they're coming in to apologize they're coming in to open up to you but with the queen of swords here i think you're gonna cut them off either you're cutting them off or you're giving them an ultimatum like you know what get your shit right or then don't come to me at all you can talk to me but if i don't like what i hear you're off that's what i'm getting from here because again this person is holding back a lot okay they want to do a lot of things this person could be someone very impulsive okay very reckless they could make very reckless decisions okay that's something that you don't like about this person again could be dealing with a player not for everyone but yeah now this person wants to come in offer you love they want to offer you what you really deserve but you with the queen of swords i think you're cutting them off you're more like nope I've had enough. I've had it. Again, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords here. I think you're, there's a very energetic difference between you and the person you're dealing with. Maturity difference, not age, maturity. You're the queen here. You're matured. You know, you're no rookie. Okay. You know a thing or two about relationships. Again, okay? this person with the Knight of Cups here. This person will be someone every single time they come in, they sweep you off your feet. Okay. And you get very driven away. And then you realize, you know, like, oh, well, you know, that's not something that I had to do. And now you've grown. I think you've had enough experiences. You've gone through a lot of shit with this person. Now you've grown. And now you realize how this person operates. So you're ready to give this person an ultimatum or just cut them off completely. What is the levels? What is the levels? You're dealing with someone with the lovers and the emperor in reverse, okay? Um, I think you're dealing with someone who you have a lot of love for. This is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. But I think with the emperor in reverse, you're right. I think either A, you're losing control of the situation, okay? And it's almost like this is just not in your hands. Or there's someone you're dealing with who's a control freak, okay? This person always wants the upper hand. Always. Or again, there's someone you're dealing with who's not dealing from their logic, okay? They're operating from their emotional bias. So yeah, that's the reason for the reading. There is a lot of love here, but again, you're dealing with someone who's like my way or the highway. What is the emperor in reverse? And I think for you, it's like this person needs to make a choice. Are you in it with me or not? What is the emperor in reverse? Yeah, I think you're ending things with this person. Oh, you ended things with this person with the world here because this is this is a control freak. You have a lot of love for this person again. I'm feeling you think, you know, this person is your soulmate, okay? You realize this connection, but this person here is probably just not ready to accept it for what it is. And with the world here, I think you're shutting, shutting a cycle with this person. And now this person realizes and now they want to come in. Now they want to come in and apologize or whatever give you this love offer or explain to you what happened or explain to your open up emotionally but you're you you've left them out in the cold and you're very focused on your work because for you it's like a, a situation is just not balanced just not balanced okay what is the hermit in reverse So you've come to a realization with the hermit in reverse and the fool in reverse that you are no more wanting to take a risk with this person. This person is risky business. You could have, again, I'm getting with the page of pentacles, or you, this could have been a very new relationship or again, an apology or someone just came in and they offered you some stability or you wanted to do something. It looks a little brand new, okay? But um, something started new, okay? But I think with the hermit in reverse and the fool in reverse, you've come to a realization after a lot of contemplation that this is someone you don't want to take a risk with. This is someone who's not worth the risk. So yeah, with the fool in reverse, you know more what you can do. This is this, this person because with the six of cups in reverse here, this person has given you bad memories. You know, you're holding a grudge against this person. This person could have really fucked you or messed up with you. All right. With the five of wands here, every single time that this person comes in your life, they bring in a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, and you're done with the drama. You're done with the drama. You're no more wanting to do this drama with this person anymore. What is the eight of pentacles? Like the eight of pentacles. The lovers in reverse with the eight of pentacles and the lovers in reverse so this person wants forward moment with you but right now they feel very very disconnected all right so it could be with the eight of pentacles and the lovers in reverse that i think that this person is probably feeling disconnected from you 
uh, this could be someone who has fear of commitment, okay, and they know that they need to, need to make a choice, but they're finding it very difficult to make a choice. They're finding it very hard to make the right decision, okay. And I think with the Eight of Pentacles here, this person is trying to focus and trying to put in the effort. They want to put in the effort in this relationship, but again, again, I had, um, I saw the High Priestess in reverse twice, okay. So I feel that this person probably is someone, you know, who is just trusting their logic. They're finding it very hard to trust their intuition, okay? Maybe you're the one who's more spiritual than this person and you have this realization about uh, the twin flame soulmate connection and they don't. So yeah, they want to put in the investment, but again, they, there is there is an imbalance here in the relationship, okay? One person is not feeling the relationship as much as the other is, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is lovers in reverse. This feels a disconnection. This is the end of the road. But to me, it's getting more like someone wants to put in the effort, but they're finding it very hard to make a decision. Okay. They want forward movement with you with eight of wands here. Okay. They want things to move really fast. Okay. They want fast communication, whatever. But yeah, you could be living at a distance from this person with the world here, long distance relationship or online dating, whatever. What is the Queen of Cups in reverse? But you're very shut down. You're not wanting to show this person how you really feel or you're just being very detached and cold. I'm getting very vengeful. You're very bitter to do it towards this person. What is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Because you did not get what you deserve. Four of Cups here. Because you're feeling rejected by this person. Maybe you wanted something stable something from this person or you were always wanting something from this person, okay? And this person was constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you and they didn't really give you the entire, the entire cake. <laughs> they didn't give you the entire offer, okay? They were constantly giving you bits and pieces and that's something that you got very bored of, okay? And you're like, you know what, that's it. This is not what I want. I'm looking for something more. If you can't give it, then bye -bye. I think that's what's going on in your emotions, okay? You feel that uh, there is a lack of... Um, this person is not giving you the amount of attention and love that you deserve. There, yeah. You deserve much more and they're not giving it to you. All right, why is the magician the likely outcome? Time for the magician. They want to make it happen. Or it's just you manifesting something brand new. What is a magician? for the magician okay okay we have the ace of swords so there is communication coming in try for the ace of swords five of wands and when the communication comes in i think this is going to be too much drama or i'm just feeling that when the communication comes in i think they're going to let you know that they're going to fight for you this person's ready to fight for you. They're ready to fight for this relationship with the five of wands. Yeah, they're ready to fight the competition or they're ready to fight for this relationship. Or with the ace of swords, with the magician, I'm also getting that a lot of clarity is coming in. There's a breakthrough coming in, okay? But again, there's going to be a lot of drama involved when this person comes in. I feel this person is getting more drama and more chaos, okay, in your life. Yes, there is a breakthrough coming in. There is communication coming in. They're com coming in because they're very determined, okay, with the magician. You manifested this communication. It's coming in. But with the Ace of Swords here, again, a breakthrough, success, clearing the air, yes. But the Five of Wands here. I feel there's too much drama, okay, or there's too much conflict. There's going to be something that's going to stir a lot of chaos between you guys. Or this person is coming in to let you know that they're going to fight for this connection. that's what i have for you leo i hope this reading resonates with you and uh, like share subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye